Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard. So I am in the garage area and we've pretty much got everything uh, out and in a storage unit. Uh, but this is kind of an update on the uh, possum live trap that I set out. Uh, originally I was trying to catch uh, a groundhog that was underneath one of the sheds out here at the place we're staying and uh, ended up catching an a possum and uh, I released it and I figured it would run off but it ran right back underneath the shed because I figured there was a, a groundhog in there and I didn't think a possum would want to mess with a groundhog but it went underneath the shed so I left the trap out and I even said on that last video that I didn't think it would be stupid enough to get caught twice and I was pretty much right uh, it, it's been sitting out for two days and uh, the second day I find it and it's in this condition right here just like that that door is jacked up it is trashed so as you can see or maybe you can't there we go so if you can if you can see this it is bent and destroyed now luckily I had a trail cam sitting on the back end of that on the outside now the trail cam is also jacked up just so dirty. here's what it looks like it's muddied and got thrown around and it's all kind of so anyway I have not looked at the trail cam yet I, uh, I I've decided that I'm going to wait until after I do this part of the video because I don't want to uh, spoil the fun of finding out what it is now. I personally think it's just a, a big fat raccoon uh, To me that looks like a raccoon had has done that. I don't know uh, Clearly it got inside. I just it, uh, Dude, it's just jacked up. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go in. I'm going to look at the trail cam video uh, It can't be transferred directly to this so I'm gonna have to video the trail cam on the camera and then use it that way So it may not look fantastic But uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it was and we're gonna see together here. It is there's 94 videos on there and so far it doesn't yet yeah. yeah, it is I'm betting anything that's a raccoon We'll see. Yeah, I think that's its tail right there. There we go. So anyway, let me get this set up and I'll show so it to you. So this video is interesting. I like this because if you see, let me see if I can, right here, right there, there's a worm moving. And I think that's what this camera picked up on. There's a worm right there moving. That's interesting. All right, so... I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's going to be right in this area, right here. There'll be a worm, and here goes the video. See it moving? Look at that. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera very well, but look at that. All right, so here's number, f this is number four. This one's kind of cool because uh, you get to see something run across. Take a look at this. Look at that. It's a little mouse. <laughs> Okay, take that back. That one was number three. This one is number four. And and take a look at this. This is kind of adorable. <laughs> All right, here's frame or number five. And again, we have the visitor. Boop. All right, here's frame number six, and this is what caused all the problems. It's already in there, and it's tearing stuff up, and it seems to be a little ticked off. All right, so I'm leaving that so there's a little bit of space there so you can see the whole frame. Here's number seven. So clearly raccoon sitting there eating the dog food, having a grand old time. All right, frame eight was just a bunch of blur. Here you can see him moving around some more, eating. So he seemed quite content in there until he got stuck in there and couldn't leave when he wanted to. So we're up to 13. These all these frames are all basically the same thing. It's, it's just the raccoon eating. All 
All right, this is 35, and somehow he's got the camera twisted back around in, facing into the cage, and he's working on. And this is the door right here, so he doesn't have it opened yet. All right, so this is number 42, and <clears throat> he clearly knows how to get out because he's been working on getting his paw underneath that cage and through it to try to release that uh, release and move the, the cage, as you can see right here. He's been in one of these before, and he's learned how to get out of it. And that's the last one right there is 94, and let's see here. So he's already got it there, thrown around, and he's fighting with it. I think by that time he's got it ripped apart and out he goes. That's the last video I have. So there we go. That is a update from the possum catch that I got. Uh, I, just by looking at that trap, I, I was pretty sure that it was a raccoon. Uh, that ra raccoons are smart they are very smart and uh, she had obviously been caught in a in a live trap like that before and knew how to get out of it and she worked and worked and worked and so she ripped that door up and got out so uh, congrats to her for not giving up and getting away so <laughs> I'm gonna try to fix it though if I can't fix it I can't fix it but I'm gonna give it a shot